we're going to tell it to go to M42. If you love the how do I make things, that makes you an engineer. What's your end goal? Do you love the why questions? That makes you a scientist. And this should be the Orion Nebula. And there it is, right in the dead center. The liberal arts education helps you understand what the key questions are in the sciences. And that's the most important concept is what should you be asking, even more than what the answers are. This is the bed of nails demonstration, which we're going to do here with Dr. Kilstrom today. It, it's understanding how things work, so that the more physics you do, the more sense it makes. People are created in God's image, and that gives us the opportunity to see the universe as God sees it. And let it sink into his soft flesh. <laughs> in four years at Westmont, you really get to understand why science works, how faith works, and how they come together and can inform each other. And sometimes that helps you understand the science as well as the faith. Okay, so this is gonna demonstrate the idea of inertia. If I got hit in the chest with a sledgehammer, I die. But in a sense, the brick, the nails, are my bulletproof vest to dissipate the force. So I think people are created in God's image, and that gives us the opportunity to see the universe as God sees it. So I think we can understand God's creation because he made us in his image. So now the entire mass is coming at my chest with that final velocity. I've got to bring it to a halt. Well, that's force times distance. Yeah, I think the heart of why we're like God is the creativity of being able to create, create things that weren't there before, to expand knowledge, not merely pass it on. That's the heart of creativity. I think it's the heart of God. <laughs> No, it's just not right. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go pray about this. Eh? <laughs> this makes this integration of faith and learning. <laughs> it's the moment I've been dreaming about for 20 years. <laughs> okay? Yep. I create to try and do new things in new ways and convey the excitement of physics. That's, that's what I love, is I love physics and I hope my students love physics. The real excitement of a physicist is where you know something that no one else in the world knows because you've just done a measurement, you've just done a discovery. That's exciting.